Yeah. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, thank you for the chance to present Connect for Children uh, to you this afternoon. Uh, C4C is a pan-European pediatric clinical trial network uh, focusing on the, uh, on the pediatric population in general. And while the network is not primarily designed uh, uh, to serve the uh, pediatric oncology population, we are open also, uh, obviously, to support studies in, in this population in the future. Uh, the aim of uh, C4C is to enhance the development of uh, medicines for babies, children, and young people across uh, all therapeutic areas and across whole Europe. Uh, so we try to form a pan-European clinical trial network. Uh, as uh, uh, already discussed in the session before, uh, there is uh, uh, quite a lot of uh, uh, activity going on to enhance and to improve the way clinical trials are done. And, and there are still a number of challenges to, to really make the conduct and the planning of of clinical studies uh, uh, easier and, and more efficient. This is not only true for adult populations, this is even more true for the pediatric population inside and outside of the uh, oncological field. Even there has there has been a lot of, of uh, development uh, since the pediatric regulation uh, has been implemented more than 10 years ago. Uh, uh, there is still a, a lot to do. So since the inception and implementation of the pediatric the regulation, we see an ever increasing number of uh, pediatric clinical studies and a constant increase of young patients to be uh, included into these trials, uh, which poses uh, a specific challenge here. Uh, and we see in, in the same time that uh, more than 40% of all pediatric plans agreed so far have not completed as planned. Either uh, they're lagging behind or they're not able to find the correct number, the, the needed number of patients. And based on this, we see an increased competition between studies about scared resources, uh, uh, let it be investigators, sites, or patients. And that comes together with the multifaceted challenge, specifically also in the pediatric world. As said, we see a lack of sufficient trial-ready infrastructure. We don't have enough uh, clinical trial sites or well-trained investigators to really do the studies and that is true for all areas of, of medical, of drug development in children. Uh, we see hesitation to either use or to accept the, the use of innovative study and trial designs, which would allow more efficient implementation of, of such studies. And we have, we fight again a small patient population com and competing developments very often in, in the same type of patients. And we shouldn't forget the high impact uh, all the clinical trials and the study procedures have on the daily life of patient and families. All this taken together were leading us uh, to think about the solution. And uh, one of the ideas we generated roughly five years ago was the creation of a pan-European pediatric clinical trial network under the umbrella of the, at that time, IMI2 funding scheme. Uh, IMI2 is, uh, one, uh, was one and still is one of the biggest uh, public-private partnerships in Europe consisting uh, of fund, receiving funding from the European Commission and FBR, the pharmaceutical trade organization in Europe. Uh, aim of this uh, big public-private partnership is to enhance and ensure a safe and effic efficacious quality of health product, reducing trial time in developing them and increasing the quality of such developments. If we now look directly on C4C, what is C4C? C4C is uh, at the moment one of the biggest public-private collaborations in Europe. Uh, the C4C consortia consists of more than 40 beneficiaries 
consisting of 10 uh, big pharma companies uh, and uh, more than uh, more than 30 academic institutions for from universities to healthcare institution to trial centers and uh, and uh, local and specialty networks across Europe coming from, from all different indications. Why did we choose the, the use of a public-private partnership here? Uh, the pediatric clinical trial infrastructure in Europe is, is still fragmented and not sufficiently developed. And to improve the situation abroad, multidisciplinary uh, collaboration is required to meet the challenges and also to be transformative and to collectively address the children's needs for, for better medicines. Uh, the impact we hope to have as, as C4C in the future is to improve the pediatric development plans and study designs uh, to lead to more efficient implementation and conduct of pediatric clinical trials and also to improve data quality, better trial feasibility and faster enrollment. C4C was uh, implemented in, uh, in 2018, meaning we are now roughly at the, at the half of, of our project timelines. And uh, uh, at the moment, at, at this point in time, we, have, uh, uh, we are up and running, uh, conducting five, uh, five test uh, studies here, five uh, so-called proof of viability studies. And we have developed so far uh, an, a network of, of experts, which allows us to provide expert advice and patient parent uh, and to guarantee patient parent involvement in, in this type of advices, uh, uh, going back and, and having the chance to reach out to more than 300 clinical and methodological experts working directly with C4C. We have created a single point of contact, which allows all sponsors from academia or from industry uh, to contact the network and have with that single access uh, the chance to, to work with, uh, with 21 European countries and more than 200 clinical sites and trial centers. Mm. We implemented the training academy and uh, uh, we also working in data standardization and creation of a data pediatric data dictionary. In the following slides, I will give you a little bit more uh, on the examples on what is uh, really the impact and what are the areas where, where we think the network and where we already see that the network after three years makes, uh, makes a difference. As I said, we have implemented a, a large uh, group of, of experts and uh, we in the process and, and working actively with sponsors um, on the improvement and design and the planning of clinical studies. We provide advice uh, to the sponsors, uh, which has then a direct impact on, on the way studies are conducted and, and designed. Uh, we, the, we provide the advice, uh, uh, well, we, our advice is accompanied by written reports, uh, and these reports can be and have been already used also in discussions with regulatory authorities, which is often very helpful as it provides also a neutral way of, of, of seeing the issue. Uh, we uh, have uh, created processes for trial feasibility and, and study startup and, and site selection and study startup. Uh, here we have some very efficient ways in doing it with, uh, with, with unique approaches to, to, to confidentiality and, and to the more administrative ways of doing this. I will come to this later. Uh, we're working with CDIS, one of the Z1 uh, clinical data standardization organization in the US, and creating together with them a pediatric data dictionary and uh, a therapeutic area guide, which would be the first one in the area combining all, uh, all the standardization uh, processes for clinical data in, in children, uh, meaning really supporting data sharing and interoperability 
uh, and said we 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 doing educational efforts and we have affiliated to us a, a patient and public involvement team which really ensures that uh, that uh, all our processes uh, not only uh, include children uh, and young people but but they really designed for their needs if we look a little bit on more detail on on some of the services which which are really high impact I would like to highlight here uh, uh, our advice group, the expert group, we called it strategic feasibility advice because the idea is that that is really input which comes well before uh, we, really, we really start the study, so more on a strategic level. Uh, uh, we have at the moment more than 25 expert groups uh, 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 with over 300 registered experts. Um, including not only different uh, uh, therapeutic uh, specialities, but also ethics advisors, call, uh, trial methodologists, uh, health technical assessment experts, uh, and uh, and also some some translational ideas uh, like pharmacometrics and pharmacomics, uh, which is is really helpful for our parts. And we have one activity within in this uh, advice uh, working stream, which uh, I think you, you all may be familiar to as you come from the oncology field. Uh, we have uh, started to uh, also design and create and implement something like multi-stakeholder meetings. Here, we, we are very grateful for the support of Gilles Vassal and his, his group at CIOP. Uh, uh, and, and the Accelerate uh, colleagues, uh, uh, because we really try to transfer the successful approach of the Accelerate strategy meetings also to the non-oncology world and to help to, to really design better, uh, better strategies for, for some of the high unmet need areas or for very crowded areas where, where we see a lot of development and only small patient numbers. Uh, here again, uh, that is a little bit of the experience over the last one and a half years. We had 29 requests and we have conducted this request according to what we have uh, in all different areas. You can see how many different areas we have here. And uh, that was is, is a very successful scheme. We, we see it, which really also has an impact on, on, on the way these studies are designed. If we and that is one example here for, for the first multi-stakeholder meeting we developed as that uh, idea behind this very similar to the Accelerate uh, uh, strategy forums. And we have now first experience in going on for a second one in atopic dermatitis uh, uh, early March. If we look now at the cornerstone of the network, really the countries involved and the, the network for conducting studies. We currently have uh, 19 nas so-called national hubs serving 21 countries across Europe, providing access to roughly 250 clinical trial sites in, in these countries. Uh, we are currently in discussion with two further countries for the inclusion of national networks. If we look behind the, the pure uh, C4C uh, infrastructure of net of, of sites and networks, we are also in close cooperation with eight uh, European multinational uh, specialty networks and with three global research networks in, in the US, Canada, and Japan, which allows global interoperability of, of the future or of the future network. Uh, I said we have uh, uh, some examples and try to implement processes which allow us faster study to start up and, and more efficient way of working. I, I have brought here one example of this, um, which uh, really surprised uh, ourselves also. We have uh, created a very specific process for confidentiality agreements, which allows us now within the network uh, or which allows a sponsor uh, with a single signature on the sponsor side to cast uh, confidentiality agreements in, in, in up to 21 countries and more than 200 sites within uh, very few days and within some weeks, so to say. And, and this was, was really amazing. 
Um, we have tested this now for, for, for a number and a range of studies, and we see that with, with, the, with the short uh, timelines we need for the, for the CDA cascade, we were able to identify uh, within 20 working days roughly uh, 100 to 160 sites for, for different studies here, for different sponsors and different studies. Uh, uh, allowing then going in the next step of, of protocol specific feasibility uh, and selecting sites here with, within two weeks. This was uh, really in, in the sense, so in total, we, we had here uh, four to six weeks to really come up with a solid base for, for clinical sites, which is uh, quite uh, ensuring. Uh, what we learned from the sponsors and what was very ensuring that even for large sponsors, uh, C4C was able to offer sites which were not known to the sponsors to, uh, to help sponsors to go into countries they haven't used before, especially in, in the eastern part of, of Europe, for example, we, we have sites in, in Estonia or or in the Czech Republic and Poland, and, and that was, was, was very ensuring here that the network works. Uh, I mentioned before, we have a, a group uh, uh, working on data harmonization and, and standardization. Um, we have internally developed a cross-cutting pediatric data dictionary, allowing uh, unicoding of, 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 of uh, data in, in pediatric clinical trials, which is the prerequisite for, for, for data sharing and uh, interoperability later on. And we're really proud that the CDIS took on this uh, pediatric data dictionary and is now working with us in a respective therapeutic area guide for, for children. And with this, we hope we see a long-term effect on, 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 on what we do and, and the outcome. But we have a very, we have a training and education uh, platform and, and C4C Academy in place which uh, uh, currently already trains all the clinical trial sites and the investigators, both on, on general uh, uh, qu questions related to, to clinical trials, study conduct, quality, uh, quality improvement, but is also able to deliver uh, study specific training courses and more broader general courses. We currently have a master course in pediatric drug development ongoing with uh, more than 50 participants across the board from academia and from industry. So the expected long-term impact of C4C is really uh, uh, to, uh, to make the access to new experimental therapies for children uh, in, in well-designed clinical trials uh, possible also in, in all parts of U Europe to improve the trial readiness or, uh, by training uh, and providing uh, needed support for research personnel and, and the respective clinical trial sites to improve the efficiency both in, in execution um, and, and in, in set of, of clinical trials, uh, of pa specifically pediatric clinical trials to improve data quality and uh, also to enhance the role of clinicians and patient parent advocates in planning and designing the studies. We see there is a, is a high interest of, of, of all type of sponsors in, in getting this advice and, and specifically also talking to to people which are closer to, to the practical approach of the studies and, and learning new voices here. And really uh, one of, the, more, one of the, the larger aims here is really to broaden the access of academic medical centers and clinical faculty across Europe to new experimental therapies because we have seen and learned uh, that at the moment, the majority of pediatric clinical studies is, is done in a very limited number of countries in Europe. So, uh, uh, and, enabling uh, whole Europe to participate in these studies would, would already really uh, helping the, the feasibility of, of this and speeding up the process. With this, I would like to thank you for, for listening to me and uh, learning some and, and being interested in Connect for Children. 
uh, connect for children as said this is in the moment still under imi funding that means we have uh, limited uh, possibilities to work with uh, with the general public but nevertheless if you're interested uh, please see uh, our contact points on this website thank you very much <laughs>